This is the problem that we have been plagued with since we adopted modernism as our architectural, most predominant architectural expression over and above so many other traditional ideas that have existed in design in India. You are right in saying that there's a very rich heritage we have of design, but we are, we are not uh, leveraging that as much as we should. In fact, we are leveraging that very little in the real estate industry at least. And part of that region is because we are very, we are looking westwards always for ideas. And I would go on to say that we are looking westwards so much that we are not only westernizing ourselves, but we are west toxicated with the, uh, with the concept of getting ideas and things from there. And that is what uh, determines the built environment uh, that we see today in India. I think it's the issue of, uh, uh, I think it's the, more the issue of sensitivity. People don't know. Indian people themselves are delinked with their own traditions and cultures, you know. And their whole aspiration model is the West. You know, um, I think we can start changing that, you know, and we can start considering certain cultural values of India as the aspiration model. And that can kind of lead to a uh, uh, revival of uh, uh, Indian artistic and architectural traditions. That's the role an architect should be playing. Instead of only designing a building, he should be also sensitizing his clients. He should be also informing the clients about you know, how to differentiate, for instance, between needs and wants. You know, between simple things that they should develop or pursue when they make their own house. And this is the role, a very important role of an architect in India. Another thing about it is that we are only talking about people who are in the cities, or big cities who can afford an architect. But there is a large stock of buildings that are being built by people who are not architects. And we need to also inform that industry about good design. Because good design, the value of good design has to be understood and explained. It's not only, the idea of good design is not about making it look beautiful only, but it's to um, enhance the quality of life in many ways, in social, cultural, economic, and functional dimensions. You know? See, I, I am straddling two worlds. You know, I am trained in the Western system of design. So I am trained in modern architecture. Yeah. And I believe that it's also a good thing to a certain extent. Or, uh, but I'm also very much influenced by my understanding of Indian culture and traditions. So I want to bridge the two yes. and produce something which is distinctly unique and um, you can say which is um, an expression of the Indian context. And that's what, you know, uh, that search inspires me. I do not know what is a smart city. I have not been able to understand yeah. what is a smart city because I think for me a smart city is a place where people feel a sense of joy in living and not only connected to internet, yeah. you know. And to create that sense of living, joy of living is very difficult, you know, when you make habitats. In, in history of mankind, you had some beautiful habitats where people have cherished and, you know, their creativity, their ideas, their development, because the environment was very nice. Yeah. Now, how do you create that environment? You know, it's, and if you reduce the idea of creating that environment to just number crunching, crunching of economics or, or of, of statistics of connectivity, you know, or some concept about land pooling, you know, or just bureaucratic administrative issues of running a city. That for me is not a smart city. There's a lot more that goes into making a smart city. So I'm, I'm not really sure what's happening. Although it's a great idea, it should be, but uh, you know, maybe I'm not aware, but I think what is required is perhaps a deeper and more detailed involvement of designers yeah. and architects and planners. For me, equity is a big issue. Light, fresh air is the right of every human being. Housing is also a right, but I'm, you know, I'm saying that if you can solve these fundamental things, you know, safety, people fall in potholes in this country and die in Bangalore or in Delhi. So we, what are we talking about? You know, so we need to first solve these basic problems. You know? 
you know, and then we can talk about glamorous ideas that we are trying to import from Singapore or, or Dubai or from the US, you know. Now, in the last 60 years, to a large extent, I developed a, a, a propensity, I would say, to think of a new idea merely by copying something that has already been done. We don't think from first principles to design a new idea from here. So whenever you want to do something new, you always have a reference which is about a project that has already been completed somewhere in the West or somewhere else in the world or Singapore, you know. I think that's, that's, that's very limiting in creativity. There are many ways in which you could find a better solution perhaps, you know.